One of the things that we have seen in terms of what's been going on the streets and the country and in terms of protests, we have uh, protests that have been going on around the country that are protesting and basically sending a shot across the bow to uh, the White House that you're going around saying that this election is being stolen. Well, we're going to put uh, countervailing forces on the streets to make sure that uh, you're trying to delegitimize this election is not um, is not taken without a fight, essentially. Um, we've seen a tremendous amount of violence by police officers in New York City against peaceful protesters, uh, which has been a stark contrast to the way that they treated uh, Trump protesters who literally stopped their cars and blocked highways on a bridge. I mean, talk about endangering people's lives. Uh, those people, as far as I can tell, were just basically ushered off if they were even ushered. But in New York City, we're, we have horrible footage of police officers just losing control on peaceful protests. You know, it's not like there's a huge amount of traffic these days downtown New York on the streets that the idea that, you know, you may have some people jaywalking, which I will tell you as a, a resident of New York City for uh, almost 30 years, people jaywalk in New York City on a fairly regular basis. And um, the idea that police would be slamming, body slamming people is is... is Maybe, I mean, for people who have an experience with New York City Police Department and the way they deal with protest is not necessarily a surprise, but it is still shocking to see. Um, and then on the other side of the ledger, we have Republican Trump supporting uh, voters who apparently either were fans of the Brooks Brothers rioters or just um, uh, have been inspired by themselves. I've seen on uh, Twitter that uh, Mike Cernovich was uh, involved in at least some of these protests down in Arizona. Uh, but they were protesting. Well, it's hard to say exactly what they were protesting. It's very site specific. In fact, here is a clip of protesters in Michigan trying in Detroit, Michigan, trying to get the vote counters, apparently, and I'm not sure why, or on what grounds, to stop counting votes. These are votes that were all just cast or submitted on election day or by election day, and they just want them to stop the vote counting because um, it appeared, and ultimately uh, Joe Biden was declared the winner by media outlets. Uh, Peters running for re-election in the Senate won by a hair as well, but they want them to stop the votes counting. But in Maricopa, Arizona, where Donald Trump is closing in on Joe Biden's lead, they wanted exactly the opposite. Not great political messaging. Let's play that clip. Sound, Brendan. Not hearing any sound here, um, but we have two different. Uh, with the <laughs> They're saying count the votes. If you couldn't decipher that, that's sort of the point. It's really difficult to get a sense of what they're calling for when the uh, a similarly situated cohort of people uh, is literally yelling the exact opposite things. Uh, you know, it just the only difference is that one was in Detroit, one was in Arizona. The principle, of course, was uh, Donald Trump must win and anything else is illegitimate. Got to figure out what the hell's going on. That's what yeah. they're trying to do. You figure out what the hell is going on. And in some places, you got to stop the counting of the ballots. In other places, you got to count the ballots. This is fascinating. Uh, an MSNBC reporter was down in uh, Maricopa County 
And uh, during our election coverage, uh, Matt Bender, who uh, is going to be on the uh, fun half of the program today, was saying that he thinks that one of the big political forces that we're going to see rise, it's not exactly like the Tea Party, but it's going to be similarly um, leveraged like the Tea Party, is this whole QAnon conspiracy stuff. And part and parcel of that QAnon conspiracy stuff is all the media outlets that have been built up around it and have leveraged it as a way of, I guess, bootstrapping uh, their, their, their enterprises. And Fox News has, has apparently, you know, sort of been caught between two different worlds. One where they have to go on cable television and, and talk to, you know, still people who are just gobbling up uh, Trump propaganda, but they can't reach, they cannot get away with doing that. They cannot get away with being the official mouthpiece of the Republican Party like they have been for years, or unofficial mouthpiece, I guess, to be more accurate. They can't get away with being the unofficial mouthpiece for the Republican Party while simultaneously also talking about conspiracies that involve uh, demon seated pedophile rings and um, living JFK juniors. But there are other media outlets that can and Fox has a problem. They're being outflanked in the lunacy business. And here you can hear uh, at the Maricopa County elections facility, these Republican protesters chanting Fox News sucks because they don't cover enough completely bat crap conspiracy theories. But a loud and very boisterous crowd. You'll start here and then uh, start up here. And they're actually chanting Fox News sucks. Fox News sucks. The reason why they're chanting that is because Fox News called Arizona uh, for Biden yesterday. And a lot of people are angry about that. We have- There's also, like I say, a lot of reporting that uh, when reporters go in and talk to those people, they're like, well, I'm a I'm a fan of uh, what is it? Own Network, the One America Network. That's the one that Trump calls on all the time at his press conferences. And things like Newsmax, uh, real, real super fringy stuff. Uh, But Fox has got a Fox problem. That's always fun.